right, this is the first episode of the... Oh. Yo, what up? Oh, P. Diddy, what's going on? Yeah, I'm, I'm good, I'm good, how are you? You're making it rain? Nah, I'm not surprised, man. You know what's going on right now? What? The Entrepreneur Show, alright? You better check that out right now. The Entrepreneur Show. What's the Entrepreneur? Where is it? Yo, go to YouTube.com, alright? And click the King 2217, alright? And after that, you're gonna see his profile and click on The Entrepreneur Show, Episode 1. Yep, I'm telling you, it's gonna be crazy. He's gonna give you a whole bunch of advice. We're gonna talk about different types of industries. We're gonna talk about the fashion one day. We might talk about school the next time. We might talk about inventions and movie producers and consumer products and food. We'll talk about a whole bunch of industries. We're gonna talk about young entrepreneurs. Yo, just crazy. Tell your son about it and tell everybody about it, alright? Are right, you gonna watch it right now? You're gonna learn some information from the king? Alright, well, I'll talk to you later. Alright, peace. What can I say? All Americans, it is with the utmost pride and sincerity that I present this recording as a living testament and <laughs> recollection of history in the making during our generation. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is. Hope. What's up, you guys? I'm excited to tell you this is the grand opening of the Entrepreneur Show. I've been telling you guys for the past two weeks that the opening will be October 12th. So this is it. I'm so happy that uh, my site is. Wigs.com slash the entrepreneur show slash Richard and check it out. Everything is new. I have videos, I have recent news, I have a new, I have two questions for my blog. Um, everything should be working. Uh, to start it off, uh, I have the top 10 colleges for entrepreneur. All right, this is it. Uh, number one is Babson College, number two is Indiana University, number three is University of Pennsylvania. Number four is University of Southern California. Number five is MIT or Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Number six is University of Arizona. Number seven is, is University of Texas. Number eight is Syracuse University. Number nine, University of Maryland, College Park. And number 10, Ball State University. All right, uh, those are the top 10 colleges for entrepreneurs. Um, a few days ago, I was on the computer just typing, just typing some stuff. I um, was looking for stuff to put on the show, and um, I saw this guy with um, he had eight tips for entrepreneurs. I was like, let let me make my own tips. So this is ten tips for entrepreneurs by your man Richard Cadet. I the first tip is be ready to handle any challenge. Um, tip number two is plan your plan your ideas. Put your ideas on paper or on journal. This, you just can't put, leave them in your head. You just have to put them on paper so other people can see them. And also just be able to ex tell like what your idea to other people is. Um, you just can't just write it down and assume that they should know what your idea is. You have to just put it simple so other people can understand what your idea is. Um, number three, be unique. Be different from other any other business, any other company. doesn't matter what you're doing, doesn't matter what industry you are in fashion or anything, you should just have um, your, your product, your idea should be unique, different from any others. Um, number four, be connected, get connected with tons of people, anybody in your industry or outside of your industry, connection will definitely help you out, help you later on in life. Um, number five, be prepared to fail, um, everyone has failed at everything, um, failure just it happens and just be prepared to fail, especially being an entrepreneur. You're going to fail tons of times. So you're just going to get denied from companies. You're going to get denied from your ideas. And you just be ready to fail. Um, number six, I believe, is have fun. Enjoy yourself. Um, if you're just not having fun with what you're doing, then uh, do something else. You just have to have fun. Yeah, it's going to be tough here and there, but enjoy yourself and have fun. Um, number seven, be confident. Confidence is very important. If you're not confident, um, everyone else is going to see it. It's going to see it right through you. And um, it's, it's, not, it's not going to help you. You just got to be confident. You just got to be confident in what you're selling and what you're doing. Um, number, um, hmm, I think this is number eight. Learn from other people's mistakes and accomplishments. You just got to learn from other people. Um, if people have failed, if people are telling you that this company is staying on their money 
and um, just learn from them, learn from learn from people's um, advice. That that's definitely gonna help you. That's definitely just gonna pass through time if you don't learn from their advice and you just do what they tell you not to do. Then you're just gonna just waste time and waste money, and that's not good to do. Um, number nine, it's kind of easy. Be organized. I think everyone knows that you have to be organized, being an entrepreneur, being a businessman, being a CEO of your own company. It's got to be organized or whatever you do. And also, last one, which I think is the most important tip, for, uh, is uh, never give up. And on, on my blog spot, I have two questions. One question is about the economy, and the other question is about this girl named Ashley, which is a person that I'm going to talk about on this new segment called Entrepreneur of the Week. And question number one is, do you think we are in a recession? Why or why not? And question number two is, would you drop out of high school or college if you became successful? Um, please answer those questions. You can answer them on YouTube, or you could go on my blog spot and answer them there. And um, please just tell me what you think. All right, in this segment called Entrepreneur of the Week, I talk about a young entrepreneur who made it. And um, this week, I'm going to talk. Her name is Ashley, and her company is called Whatever Life. And it's a website that she started at the age of 14, and now it's worth, I think, $4 million. Yes, $4 million. And uh, it all started when she was on MySpace, personalizing her MySpace pages and putting cool background designs with, like, celebrities and pretty colors and cool quotes. And she started liking it. So she decided to make a website and she got eight dollars from her mother and made a website called whatever whateverlife.com and it became really popular that she they got at least three thousand viewers a day. She her first check she got at least twenty seven hundred dollars and then her next check she got five thousand dollars and then her third check she got ten thousand dollars and after that she started getting like half a million dollar checks for advertisement and it became really popular in MySpace that even Britney Spears manager wanted her to uh, make her make a make a MySpace page for her and even on um, TV shows wanted her to be on it but she um, turned them down somehow she became really her website became really popular and she got really she got a lot of money that she was able to buy a new house for her and her family and she even decided to drop that out of high school and now her and her friend now she hired her friends and now she's working in her basement and paid uh, millions of dollars and now her website is now a multi-million dollar empire so um, that's the entrepreneur of the week her name is Ashley and um, there's a video of her on my website where she got interviewed by CNN so check that out to we'll talk more about her they go more in debt with her, uh, with her accomplishment, and just check it out. And thank you guys for checking the Entrepreneur Show. Fresh out the frying pan into the fire, I be the music biz number one supplier. Fly it in a piece of paper bearing my name. Got the hottest chick in the game wearing my chain. That's right, ho, oh, oh. Not D O C, but similar to them letters, no one could do it better. I check chatter like a fool.